Hi, somebody was asking us if he was in the jail with any serial killers. Well, I was in full sitting with a guy, he was originally from Glasgow, Archibald Toll, the butler, and uh, he worked for the rich and famous all over the place. But uh, sometimes he'd sit and have a drink with Archie, me and the boys, and he'd be telling us his stories. And uh, he said, I think he got arrested in Scotland and uh, he had somebody at the boot of the motor, one of his victims. And uh, then he was telling us another story that uh, he was gay and uh, he had a boyfriend and uh, he got him a job in this place. He was, he was a butler and he was staying in this lodge in the grounds. And uh, the boyfriend came in one night steaming and he's pulled a gun out and he's threatened Archie away and he says, put that away and all that. And uh, the next morning he's up and he says to the boyfriend, you want to go hunting? The two of them got two rifles and he says, when I heard his last shot, he says, I pointed the gun at him and he just went, boom. He says, you'll never take that to me again. And uh, he says he buried him down at this wee river. And the owners of the, this estate, they used to go a walk with a Labrador dog. And it was always sniffing when about where the, the, his boyfriend was buried. So that was Archie, you know what I mean? And uh, he ended up, he was still in category for over 20 years because they still deemed him dangerous and he was quite fit and agile, so he could get out of the wall if he had a go. But uh, he ended up going to a retirement hall, no a retirement hall, HMP Kingston, where he got sent and uh, he died, I think, in his late 70s. So so that, that was actually, then I moved to uh, Long Larton and uh, met a wee guy for there, Mickey Davy. Mickey came for Corby, he was a lifer. So me, me and I'm going well and I used to go like that. He says, he says, I, I used to think you know, I was a, a, a Scottish. He says, he uh, says, everybody it was doing in Corby. He says, it was called Little Scotland. And he uh, says, I got on with them great and all that. I think Mickey was there. I think he chopped some days either. Fuck. So we ended up setting up a wee pub because we were making that much booze with this unofficial pub called the Tartan Arms. So we had parties and that in there and uh, another guy came in, just been sentenced. This guy says he wanted to be a serial killer at uh, the beginning of 1993. His name was Colin Island. And he, he came in one night and uh, everybody was saying, well, why do you do all that? And I think it was five people he'd killed as well. And uh, he just says his wife had left him and he, he just thought his, his life was finished. So set on this mission. So, bit a strange character. But while I was there in Long Latin, met a lot of good people there. Big Tony Argent, he was another one. Tony done a long time. And uh, me and him used to get on really, really well. And uh, he'd come up to my cell and he'd like, right, come on up. He'd get me to the gym first thing in the morning. And he'd punish me with these weights. So the big Tory's watching, big shout out. And uh, the only reason I never included Tory in my book is because when I brought it out, I didn't want to fuck up his parole. Same as another boy. I was going to put in big Alan Bum. Alan escaped. But uh, when the book came out in 2012, I didn't realise that Alan was captured. I heard years later he was captured in uh, Amsterdam. So... That's all for tonight then. Okay then. Bye.